sorry about that. <laughs> no, no, that's a good introduction. Because no, okay. not everyone knows about SCP and Creative Commons and stuff like that. Well, it's Creative Commons in general and how it applies to the SCP world. Yes. I believe it's my turn. Yes, it is. All right. Now, I'm not as big of an expert on SCPs as Dr. Bright, but I had been, uh, I'm a little older than her, and I had been around, uh, I had read them before they probably had, although I also uh, stopped for a while, like years, got back into it much later, but with how much it changed, I did uh, research its history a bit because it felt like I missed something important. Not important thing I missed is something that's actually very important to this argument. And it's how the creative common law has already affected the SCP universe. All right, now. This will also involve bringing up creepy pastas, but I swear it's only for the history's sake of the SCP universe because, like it or not, the two things used to be very much alike. The SCP uh, works and the creepy pasta work. The lines were pretty blurred. They didn't start defining, like, getting really different until. Something in internet history, I don't know if it's written anywhere, but it's basically this time where different authors started like going on attacks on not only fan work, but also uh, just uh, fan fictions in general and stories that aren't fan fiction, but they perceived might be as such. That's all it that affected the internet a lot. Like, for instance, uh, with creepy pastas. They tried to, they made their own site to try to uh, restrict and like figure that out. And of course, the SCP universe got a little organized too. But after that, I kind of like drifted off from both of them. And during that, I'm guessing either during that time or a little after that time, is when um, a specific author in the SCP universe that we will not mention because one, I don't remember their name and two, it doesn't matter who it was, only that they did something. And that was, this was before they started using the Creative Commons. Uh, and that was, and because they were a contributor to the SCP uh, universe and stories and other things. And when they decided that they didn't like uh, they didn't like where they thought the SCP universe was going, that it was different than what they wanted, because they only wanted the top tier quality. They decided to take all their works and leave, like literally take everything. And that's what people can do when it's not uh, protected with Creative Commons. You know, because if it's not Creative Commons, that means it's just yours. That means you can take it whenever you want to. And while I think the SCP universe has changed so much for the better, so much, it's, it's amazing after they went to Creative Commons, it does also show that without the protection of Creative Commons, it means everyone can literally tear everything apart and go mine, mine, mine. But then it won't be the SCP universe. It'll just be, well, fanfics kind of like the early creepy pasta days, like it used to be like. But the fun thing with everything being connected and shared is that it's so much better. It's a universe. It's not a bunch of like cut and paste together stories. They may not all match together well, but that's because there's many universes. So as long as you understand the SCP universe and its chaos, that's actually a lot of fun. And, you know, we can't really have that if we don't protect and abide by those rules. There's already literally an example of that. That example may have helped the SCP universe become what it is today, but it doesn't change the fact that it happened. And, you know, if it happens again, this time it wouldn't be changing it for the better because 
it's already changed for the better. It's already the good thing that it it ha it can change more for the better. Just nothing related to Crave Commons law. It already has that. Did I explain well? Yeah. Okay. I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Is there anything else you wish to say? Like, huh? No. Oh, I was going to say, like, basically, it else. just makes it not as limited. I will <laughs> say, as an author, that one of the things that brings uh, people into the Cthulhu mythos is the fact that there's many authors in many books that scare it to some degree and some variant. I like the stories. I don't like the Cthulhu mythos. I think Cthulhu's kind of okay, but the fact is that is a very effective way to get people interested because there's not just one view and one author doing it. It's a bunch of people creating this universe. And that's what the SCP Foundation has. Only more people. And it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Someone else go. <laughs> I think that would be you, Kieran. <laughs> um, sure. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I, uh, part of something got blown up by a creeper. Oh, that's um, fine. Um, so basically I'm just going to be talking about how YouTube um, not just fucks over SCP, the SCP fandom, but, like, so many other creators with the whole copyright abuse thing. Um, luckily I haven't really had to deal with this all that much, and I'm not an expert. A lot of other creators know more about the copyright system and how it works better than I do. Um, but you kind of explained it a little bit bright. Um... Basically, I think it's like, um, you can appeal stuff, um, but then of course YouTube, like in your case, would be like, actually, no, we're gonna smack you down with a hammer, even if we're wrong. Um, and I don't know if it used to be different, um, I'm, I'm trying to remember back to the, um, Onision situation. I don't know if any of you guys remember that or were on YouTube at that time when, oh my God, that was a, that was a disaster. Um, but, um, basically Onision and other creators do this too. Um, they would copyright, um, like basically, um, what am I doing? Um, they would copyright claim videos that, um, fuck, train of thought, words. Um, okay, so like with the Onision situation, so Onision would, um, find videos where people were talking about him and would copyright claim those videos, um, especially if they were to use any, um, like clips or anything like that. The thing is, I'm pretty sure most, if not all, of those videos fell under, um, what was it, fair use, where yep. basically if it's for educational purposes, commentary purposes, or what was it, what did I say, educational commentary, there's one other, what was it? Transformative. Yeah, transformative, thank you. So if you take that clip, of like say a video from one of Onision's and you're reacting or not reacting um you're commenting on it like hey his behavior isn't okay this needs to you know you explain stuff and you use his clips as like examples that should fall under fair use as far as i know same thing goes with like transformative stuff like memes for example that's transformative um so basically, YouTube has a problem where it allows people like Onision to falsely copyright claim videos 
to either one, try to silence creators or two, try to make money off of them, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is bullshit. <clears throat> so it's not just the SCP fandom that um, suffers from false copyright claims. It's the entirety of YouTube. Um, meanwhile, reaction channels, um, I forget what her name was. I think, who was it? One of the, um, one of the commentary channels, either, what was it, Tamimi or maybe, um, um, oh no, what's her name? I used to watch her. Shoot, she would, like, do drawings and stuff in the background. But anyway, one of the commentary channels, um, mentioned a creator that would take anime, fully, like, unedited anime clips, and would just play them and pretend to react to them like oh wow omg like basically like using reaction to try to um get away with posting content that wasn't hers and i think she went as even went so far as to like when she i don't know if she got booted off youtube and then started um her own website, and I'm not sure if the animation company ended up suing her. I'm not sure. But basically, reaction channels do the same shit to the SCP fandom, where they will just, um, th like from what Bright has told me, you can um, explain further, because I don't really know all the details. But from what I've heard, commentary channels will basically take SCP content, quote unquote, react to them, and they get away with it. Meanwhile, YouTube allows... Mm -hmm. So, and that's, like, actually, like... Well, I mean, it's under Creative Commons, but, like, if copyright were to be a thing... Like, the whole... YouTube is kind of like, oh, we want to protect creators. That's why we do the copyright thing. They're not actually protecting the creators. They're not. Because if they did, the reaction channels would get flagged, Right. Right. Or not flagged, but would get, you know, consequences. No, they only care about the rich um, companies, especially the fucking music industry. God, they're notorious for this. Um, but th they allow these, like, billion-dollar companies and, like, music labels and stuff to basically bully content creators claim stuff that isn't theirs and <clears throat> try to make a quick buck off of them. Mm -hmm. It's bullshit. YouTube has had this problem for ages. And like, yeah, that's that's basically what I was... <laughs> that That's basically what my topic was. Um, Bright, if you want to um, elaborate yeah. further, because you know a lot more about the SCP... T <laughs> SCP... <laughs> Community right. than I do. Basically, okay. what I'm going to show is what the reaction channels don't do is credit the SCPs. Oh, I forgot about that part, yeah. They don't credit them, which is against Creative Commons law. Oh. <laughs> Illegal. So that makes it even more fucked up that YouTube is basically hypocritical. Yeah, and here's some other thing that I've found out is that if they try and get in trouble from like the original SCP creator, they will literally go over there and copyright that that channel. What the fuck? And get away with it. Either that, or if that video gets like copyrighted or something, they'll just delete it. They'll still keep all that money that they got from that video. No consequences. the fuck yeah it's been happening more frequently with scp stuff mainly because they can get away with it a lot more easier than because uh, they're smaller creators yeah that's the thing we uh and they do that to smaller creators too because they you know it goes unnoticed mm -hmm. meanwhile if you were to try to pull that shit with like jacksepticeye it wouldn't fly absolutely it would not fly no, 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 I would not at all. <laughs> well, maybe it would, I don't know. But, um, or maybe MatPat, I'm not sure. Um, 
Though, let's be honest, I mean, I liked Matt Pat's content. It's cool. I love his theories and I love the food theory channel. That's great. But is it just me or does he kind of seem like the the teacher's pet of YouTube? Yes. Like, just low key, like, mm, he, mm, he kisses up to Susan Wachiski so much. I'm sorry, Matt Pat, I love you. But like, dude no wonder like you're so favored on youtube and the algorithm you've like had interviews with fucking susan wachiski and shit like <laughs> bruh <laughs> you're able to get these interviews and why don't you try talking to her to help fix this problem and i i think he might have done an interview like about some problems with youtube i don't know if she ever actually listened or i forget what the interview was for but um yeah, it was just, yeah. Now, Adarna, since you're here, is there anything you would like to talk about this whole whole thing, this whole situation? Um, no, really. All right. <laughs> right. You might hear me, like, frantically clicking. That's fine. <laughs> yes, and, um. Yeah. Now here, here's something that they actually say on the site. What you can do under Creative Commons law. Share. You can share or repost anything from the site. You can copy, paste entries, stories, and articles of, the, of their in their entirety and repost them to your website. You can include them in any sort of compilations of creepypastas or stories. Why do they include creepypastas? But, um, and next is remix. You can make derivative works. You can make fan fiction, fan art, fan movies, fan mods, anything that fans can do. You can write up a TV show or movie. You can make posters or TV shirts. You can even sell. You can sell the remixes you make based on the SCP Foundation. However, keep in mind that you'll probably not get rich off of them because under a share alike, anyone can freely copy, use, or download your stuff. And you can, and you'll have no legal recourse provided they also follow the terms of the license so then what was up with the guy with russia oh was it like um he was selling stuff but he was also trying to destroy everything else to try to get rid of competition is that what yes was? and basically um that is exactly what weedia corp is i have looked a bit more into it i am not the first person they attack for this game scp will of a single tale they have gone after more, multiple people, and they're getting away with it, which is not so okay. So it's not just a YouTube problem, it's, oof. Yes, we a court music. I know, I, I know they're probably going to come after my ass, but I don't care. Come after me. You just, just so you know, the SCP fandom is like a family. You mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. <laughs> Just look at the guy in Russia. <laughs> and he's losing the case, is he? Or oh I yes, know I know I it's. Know it's that, yeah. um, it was just taking a while, just because of delays in court because yeah. of virus and stuff. But like, um, they got um, all the Russian SCP sites that got shut down by that asshole uh, got re put back up. Oh, thank God. And so far, they're pushing it, and it looks like he might. He might fully have to pay for all the SCPs that he took under his own wing for copyright. Oh, does he have that much money? Probably not. He's wait. He'll Hopefully have to sit in jail. Not. Oh man! <laughs> Which is what's probably going to happen to the people of fucking Media Corp. I hope well, so. I'm not sure because the guy in Russia was just like he wasn't like a billion dollar corporation, was he? Right, but um, yeah, I don't think they're actually gonna like go to jail or anything. If anything, they'll probably just settle out of court, but that'll still be something. Mm -hmm. The point is, they won't be able to get away with it, not that they'll go in jail. Yeah, yes. Honestly, they could lose, they could, uh, they could definitely, uh, 
lose a few thousand or even million dollars yes. if that's what it takes to get them that's to not stop doing other work. Right. Also, D class, as you can see right here, this is Wea Corp. And um, now that I'm looking at it, like they only have one video with 7.48 thousand subscribers. And they're not Why English. The fuck you subscribe to a fucking like corporation like that? Like, I swear to God, if they like, somehow figured out a way to do fake subscriptions. Yeah, they live in Turkey. Not in America. They're not even... <laughs> cool. So, yes. Oh, the SCP Foundation is all over the world. So it doesn't yes. matter if they're in Turkey. Right. Creative Commons applies to, like, everywhere, as is the case with the Russia thing. Yes. Now, just because I'm show, I want to say this right here, right now. Just because I'm showing people who attacked me, I'm not saying go attack them. Alright? I'm just saying this is one of the main corporates that are attacking people on YouTube. Or like the SCP community on YouTube. All right. Does not mean to attack them. Please don't do that, because <laughs> that can be, they can take that out on me, and that'll not be good. <laughs> but yes, this is showing how serious things have gotten. It's it true. It's not just harming the SP community, but it is doing serious damage to this community because we were protected for a while and then you two just fucked us over oh and like twitch apparently like recognizes um um the creative commons thing so twitch yeah. isn't fucking well anyone. that's because twitch is what we'd like to call Rather be safe than sorry, also known as covering their own ass. <laughs> I'm like, YouTube is which is kissing the money maker. Yep. Yes. As you can see, D class, things are getting very serious. And most likely, <laughs> People might be coming after my ass after this, but I don't care. Because I will come after their ass. I will literally do another stream just saying how they're coming after my ass. Try me. <laughs> I will make this into a series. Just try me. <laughs> Most likely, if they do try to come after me, like saying, oh, I'm going to copyright this video, I'm just going to laugh at their face. <laughs> It's, and the the fact that YouTube basically threatened you, yeah, if you didn't stop it, mm -hmm. that's mm, mm -mm. yes. That now I that. I can go back to see their exact words. We need more. We need a court music wants you to give wants to give you an opportunity to cancel your appeal within next seven days. Canceling your appeal will return your video to the state it was in before you began this dispute. And here's YouTube saying, not with you, of course, if no action is taken, your video will be taken down from YouTube on May 17th, 2021, and a copyright strike will be applied to your account. If you still believe you have the rights to use this material, you can file a counter notification after, after that date, which means the video will be gone. No point. Wait, you, even if you file a, a complaint or something? Yeah, a counter notification, the video will be deleted. But you can find one without a notification. Oh shoot, I didn't even show that. Thirty days, then um, the video would still be able to be. Uh, you'd still be able to get it back, but with things like this, it typically goes on for months and months and months if you yep. get anything to fall. Yep, that's right. You two don't care. So, yeah. 
how would it be possible to actually like take them to court over this? As of right now, we don't have enough proof. Like, I mean, as far as I saw from We A Court, I did not see any proof that they own that song. I didn't see the video. Did you, I, I mean, did you see a video labeled a mo I mean, you, right, that's right, you couldn't even see the screen. But, like, no, D-Class. Like but, like, the song used in, like, it was from an SCP video game. Yeah. Right. Like. And the thing is. Like, if, if, even if the song was theirs, wouldn't the game have licensed it? So it's fine to, like. Yeah, I the, don't yeah the game, the creator who made the game also made the music, which means it's their own work. So it's not fucking Wii Corpse. No, it's not, which is why I uh, emailed them, letting them know, know this entire situation. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, they'll see it. I mean, they're probably busy because they're trying to... I wonder to... if it's like their bot doing right. it. Like if the... Because that happens. Like These like companies will like make bots. But the bots are like shit at recognizing what's actually theirs. But the companies don't care because they get, you know, they get to take advantage of people. Mm hmm. That's right. That's, uh, a, that's actually a very serious issue, too, with bots. Like, YouTube's not detecting them. Like, you can get subscribers, you can freaking take channels down. I've seen that happen where people's channels get taken down, even SCP ones, by bots. Oh my. You want to know why? It's because those channels were making more than the channel that made the bots. So, get rid of competition. It's fine. YouTube's fine with it. Oh, God. But like they only really care... Like, even with, like, that whole Onision situation, like, they didn't give a fuck. And their excuse was, like, oh, well, we need, like, proof first. We need, like, you know, them to be, like, actually convicted of something first. Mm -hmm. Aren't there other platforms where it's, like, if you even accuse them of something? Like, James Charles got demonetized. Oh, yeah. Though not taken off the platform. Um, I th Actually, the same thing might have actually happened to Onision. They just... They just demonetized him, giving him a consequence, quote unquote, when like he was actually like a like dangerous person. Like, mm -hmm. if YouTube cared about the safety of you know kids, which the fact that I found I saw like a little ad thing, um, about like oh here's how we're keeping your children safe on YouTube. Fuck you! No, you're not. If you did, you would be deplatforming people who make it dangerous. Mm -hmm. Right. You mean like Onision, who has actually yep. both been proven to be a child groomer and is still up on YouTube? Yep. Oh, so YouTube lied out of their ass then. Cool. Oh, shit. Cool. Cool. I say that in the most sarcastic way possible. <laughs> And here's another thing with Discord, uh, not Discord, uh, uh, Twitch, you know, it, bots happen all the time. Twitch has this thing where you can literally go into your settings and you can activate a bot. And the bot will auto-detect uh, auto other bots and keep them from your channel. Yet, YouTube doesn't have the money to do it, but Twitch does. Hmm. Hmm. Almost like the money thing is total bullshit because yeah. Twitch doesn't have as much money as YouTube by far. Oh yeah, they don't. Yeah, Twitch has the ability to make it <laughs> and use it. <laughs> Wait, Twitch has the ability to what? Uh, they have a bot that detects other bots, keeping them, uh, keeping streamers safe. Oh, YouTube could totally do that. They have the fucking money for it. Yeah, they could. <laughs> don't fucking care no they don't yeah and um and to they the only care about creators that make money for their platform right 
Yeah. And to talk about another uh, another issue that's been happening, um, basically, where I've I've sent a video. Like, I'm not sure if you guys noticed. Uh, I sent a video in, in our chat, but that talks about it. But ba basically, people are uh, copywriting SCP animation channels, trying to take their work for themselves. Oh, of course they are. Why the fuck wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. While most SCP Foundation uh, work is in the written variety, I do think those animation channels are are very important. One, it gets people to better. Some people actually don't have uh, proper abilities to uh, enjoy written uh, work as much as others, as in their brain has less of an ability to imagine what they're reading. Thus, right. it's not as interesting. And, and then, there's also people like me who might have ADHD, and I guess the common mood is that sometimes we just can't absorb shit through reading. Right. And like, I, I need, like, you know, I used to read all the time when I was a kid and loved it, but ever since, like, I don't know, high school, I just, I just couldn't. My brain would just be like, nope, this is boring. And, like, now I need some sort of, like, visual to keep myself stimulated enough to absorb the information. So that's why I love, like, watching YouTube and educational videos and stuff like that. Yeah. You want to know what happened to the people, uh, uh, the animation channels, though? Hmm. Some of them got strikes. Some of them uh, didn't. Let me guess. The ones who made YouTube money did not get strikes. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah, but um, it, another thing about animation channels, most of them tend to like show SCPs that aren't popular. Like, bring popularity to ones no one knows about. Which basically helps out the community. And like, Attacking them just harms it very badly. <laughs> yeah, like if um, like new people won't really be brought into the SCP community because they just don't know about it. Right. I'll admit the SCP Foundation, without the help of either videos or games and other things like that, it would be hard to get new people in because there's so many SCPs and stories already there. It would have you'd have a hard time knowing where to start, especially once you know that the zero one SCPs aren't exactly like the beginning. They are and aren't because they weren't even the first SCPs written. It was literally filled with multiple ones in the first place. So people wouldn't fight over the zero zero one spot since it's literally the start. Right. And another thing I want to get into, which I am starting to see, and it's very bad. Um, mm -hmm. like I said with Media 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 Corp. Um, luckily it didn't happen on my end. But what I've seen is. Um, they and other people have copyrighted SCP games on YouTube, like the actual gaming, not just music. And mm -hmm. and it's sort of looked like it's being pushed off the YouTube platform. Like, Which, I mean, didn't you say like how like isn't the SCP community? Yeah. Um, like really like or isn't the horror community on youtube or just anywhere really isn't a lot of it scp yeah it's heavily influenced so all the horror well mo a lot of the horror people were just okay fine like if there's nothing no scp on youtube i'll go elsewhere youtube will lose money right and also here's YouTube the thing here's the thing here's something that not people know some i i I for, uh, forgot their names, but some Hollywood, like, movie creators and show creators have created SCPs. Written SCPs on the wiki. Holy shit! Like, yes, that's how bad, how big 
SCP community influences the media. Off topic, but um, come mm -hmm. over, come over where I am. Uh, right. Oh. Do you see yeah. me? No. <laughs> I'll come toward you. But, yeah. Backward. Go. Go the opposite way. Hi. Over here. I want to show you something. Look yes. at these fuckers. Look at all of these pillagers. They're just standing there menacingly. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> yeah. Um, there's the the top three games that I've seen that no top four games that that I've, I've seen been attacked is SCP Will of a Single Tail, uh, SCP Secret Laboratory, SCP Containment Breach, and SCP Unity. I mean, here's the thing. You've all been on. I, I know Jerry's been on. Uh, or we've all been on YouTube. When was the last time you've heard like a popular YouTuber playing SCP Containment Breach or SCP Unity or Secret Laboratory? I've actually there. I, oh, are... Markiplier played one yeah. SCP game. I forgot what it I was. Think, yeah, I but think, um, let me see. Who played Secret Laboratory? Um, I think like. Like I know, like there's a channel called Frisky who keeps playing it, but like, like, yeah, but there's like not many people doing that now because of all the fucking copyright strikes. And of like, course, Markiplier doesn't get fucking claimed, or what? Or if he well, did, or if he did, Corpse, he fights. I think, play, I think Corpse played. Um, Wait, Corpse hmm. played SCP. Yeah. Oh, that's um, good. Uh. Hopefully he can help bring it back. But, um, I think it was within the last six Last six um, months. Is that what you're yeah, saying? Boy. Oh. He was real popular around then, didn't he? Yeah. Like, I think it was Corpse. Um, let me see. Corpse, Sykuno, um Wait. <clears throat> it was, like, pretty much many of the, like, um, Many of the like. I want to look this. I want to look this up now. Yeah, if you find it, like, show I it. I was watching the stream. Like, I think it oh. was. Um, actually, no. I watched the stream afterwards. Who was it? It might have been. Le oh no! It was. Uh, oh, let me. Good. It was. Um, here, I'm gonna find their YouTube channel because. I'm glad some people are trying to revive it back, but like some oh, people. Will uh, stop. It was yeah. Tina. It was Tina. Tina. It was Tina. Oh, that I saw the song. So wait, so Tina played a C the an SAP game along they, with. Oh, them I and like saw some pre memes about pretty it. much all of the like pretty much all of those like creators that are in that group like. Thank goodness yeah. it's starting yeah, to come they, back. But I also feel bad for them because they might be attacked. They, who? Yeah. Um, the group you just said. <laughs> oh, Corpse and Tina and Saikuno. And yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't surprise I'm, me. I'm well, like, them from the Amigos. <laughs> or Amigops. I don't know why. <clears throat> so, yeah. I, honestly, though, I, if Corpse Husband does get attacked, the fandom... Whoa. We we got corpse on a billboard. We got him on a fucking billboard because like on Twitter someone was like, "Oh, the person with the most likes will get whatever they want on a billboard." And the fandom went for it. Like they got mm -hmm. Oh, it wasn't just a billboard in Times Square. Times fucking square. Do you know how big a deal that is? Like mm -hmm. you could look it up like on Twitter. And just like, holy shit! Like, yeah. So if anyone fucks with corpse, oh, it's yeah. not gonna be good, friends. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs>